Hello there and welcome. I have been out spending money this morning. I've just been down to Taunton Aquarium Centre. That's obviously in Taunton, Somerset, uh, which if you're in the West Country or near the West Country, definitely worth a visit. I'll just show you some of the livestock that they've got there. Coral wise is absolutely insane. There's also some stunning fish. Um, I've been in there today buying some uh, very special damsels, which are pretty hard to get hold of in the UK. So I've just been out and bought all of the damsels in the shop. Fish that I've got today for you are Springer's damsels. Um, looks like they are starting to fight or have been fighting on the way home. That one there has been particularly hammered, but um, I'm sure that tail and everything will grow back once it's in its own tank. So these are really quite rare damsel in the UK. They're quite hard to find, especially to find true Springer's damsels. What I'm gonna do is get them out of the bag and put them in their tanks before they attack each other anymore. So here we are, I've got them out. I've split them down into um, five separate tanks. This is the only tank that's got two of them in because it's a four foot by two foot by two foot. So it's a lot of space in there for two of them to have enough hidey holes. You can see the damage on the tail. That's just aggression in the bag. Uh, unfortunately, the journey home was quite long, so they've done a little bit of damage to each other. However, that will heal quite quick. If you ever had fish which get damaged fins, it grows back really quickly. So long as your water quality is good, um, which this is, they will be totally fine. So it's the next day. Uh, as I said, I've moved all the fish around into different tanks and I waited the day because I wanted them to settle in so you can see their coloration. This is a stunning little damsel. And what makes it so nicely colored is the black and blue mottling across its body. It's one of the only damsels that has this kind of coloration. And as far as I'm aware, it doesn't lose it as it gets older. A lot of damsels start off really bright and fluorescent in some cases and then as they get older they tend to go either grey or brown or black as far as i know these damsels stay the same color they just get bigger but the reason i bought them isn't due to their coloration although that is a bonus i actually bought them to do a job most of the fish i keep in my macro algae tanks are employees as well as pets if you're wondering why i bought six of them then the reason is before you. Basically, if you look on this piece of blue octodes, which is a stunning little macroalgae, we can see that there are flatworms on there. So those little white things on the macroalgae are actually flatworms. Now, these are a natural part of the reef environment. These aren't red flatworms because they are massively terrible for your reef environment. These are just normal, your everyday flatworms that you get in most reef aquariums. However, they do get out of control in terms of population and that's something I want to control and that is something that Springer eye damsels can do. Springer eye damsels are one of the few creatures that actually graze upon flatworms. The other ones being a six line wrasse and also I've seen mandarins do it as well. So you can see them here in my glass as well and the population is just getting a little bit too large and I want to bring it under control. They're starting to do a bit of a boom in their population and we need to introduce a predator. And that's where the Springer eye damsel comes in. You, know, you can see him already starting to pick bits and pieces out of the environment. And that's exactly what I want him to do. And that's the reason why I've bought six of them, just to split amongst my macroalgae tanks and add a little bit of flatworm control. Now they were banged up in the bag a little bit, but um, you can see this is probably one of the worst ones. He is totally fine, acting completely normal, and that fin damage will heal beautifully. So it's been a week since I bought these damsels, and as well as being incredibly hard to film because of just how skittish they are, they have also recovered. You can see this is the one that had, or at least one of the ones that had a really bad time of it, and had most of its fins taken off, and they've regrown really quickly, and that's the power of just putting them into a nice healthy system can see there it's basically brand new um, now if these fish went into a system with poor water quality or existing diseases and things then they might not have recovered so a lot of the time they can get infected get fin rot and white spot and all sorts of problems just due to stress put them in a nice healthy system and they will recover really quickly Springer's damsels are renowned to be really quite friendly and I haven't found 
any aggression from them. They've all settled in really well in their various tanks and I'm also noticing there is a reduction in the number of flatworms already and also unfortunately amphipods and copepods but they are going to eat anything they can get their little mouths around so we can see that they are actually doing a really good job in terms of what I got them for so I'm really happy about this one thing that I noticed which I thought was really great is there wasn't any aggression from the other fish in the tanks towards these damsels normally in a marine system when you put a new fish into an existing tank you will get lots and lots of aggression towards that fish but when I put these damsels in nothing really um, battered an eyelid nothing was bothered so I don't know why that is whether they just have a reputation amongst other fish as to not be a threat not be an aggressive damsel and um, other fish just leave them alone you'll notice as well is their coloration can go quite dark um, I guess this tank's quite shaded at the moment with this alva and because of that the damsel has decided to be quite dull in its own coloration, I don't know. It's not being attacked by anything in this tank so I don't think it's a stress reaction. Um, I just think it's due to its surroundings which is interesting because this one here which is in a bit of a brighter lit tank, less uh, shady, is a real nice colour. It's in its normal coloration that you'd expect from the Springer's Damsel. So. That's something I'm going to um, just observe and see what causes these damsels to go darker colour. But they are a beautiful little fish, aren't they? And I was quite fortunate to be able to get hold of six of them because basically that was the entire shipment that Taunton Marine Centre got in. And I luckily got there on the same day that they were unpacking their boxes. And I said, what are they? Are they Springer's damsels? Uh, yes, they are. OK, I'll take the lot. So here we are six beautiful little springers damsels so thanks for watching i hope you've enjoyed this video if you have please remember to leave a like and also subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of this kind of content once again thanks for watching and happy fish keeping